book him home. I bet it sucked without me, huh? Yeah. Days kind of tend to suck without me. But don't worry. Because I'm here now. And I'm here to make your day a lot better. What? No, silly. I didn't break in. Not this time, anyway. You humans think all wolf boys are just a bunch of brutes, don't you? But you're wrong. Not all of us. Just most of us. But not me. I'm one of the more sophisticated ones. That's why I used a key to get in. Instead of smashing the door or window like one of those lesser wolf boys would have done. I smelled the key under the mat. I just instantly thought, oh yeah, that makes sense. The human must have left it for me there, because even if it's out of sight, I'd be able to distinctly smell that metal. And that's how I got in. You're always so thoughtful doing things like leaving the key for me. That's why I love you. Thank you so much. Here's the key back, by the way. Don't worry. I already made a copy. So, by the way, you must have seen my pickup truck in your driveway, right? Isn't it impressive? I mean, not just the truck, although that is pretty impressive. I mean, I'm not saying the truck is like super expensive or anything, and that's why it's impressive. I'm saying it's like impressive that a wolf boy was able to drive a truck. Because, you know, I'm a wolf boy, and we aren't exactly known for driving. Also, I don't actually have a driver's license yet. But they don't exactly let us drive to those exams, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. But anyway, the point that I was trying to make is that it is impressive. It is the thing that I have in the back of the truck. You must have seen it, right? Yeah, it's a bear. A big, scary, meaty, scary bear. I hunted it myself, with my very own claws. So what do you think? It's impressive, wouldn't you say? I'm quite the catch, don't you think? Being able to hunt a bear all by myself? Well, you're in luck. Because I happen to be single. And I happen to want you to be my mate. I'm sure if you agree to be my mate, all the other humans will talk about us. Positive things. I don't know if I was making that clear. But with a hunter as great as your mate, you'll basically be set for life. I'll keep you safe and fed. Warm, too. Because fur is super cuddly. I mean, just feel it. Come on, feel it. Please. Anyways, what do you say? You want to be my mate? What? Oh, come on. You saw the bear, didn't you? It's a Kodiak bear. A Kodiak? That's the largest species of bear in the entire world. It can stand over 10 feet tall when it's standing on its hind legs. Well, it's more like 5 feet when it's not, but... 10 feet when it is. And they weigh up to 1,500 pounds. That's heavier than, like... Than... A lot of heavy things. And this one was a male, so it's a lot heavier than a female. I think this one was super big and heavy. It was maybe... Like, what? 1,400 pounds? It's a huge specimen. But I still managed to hunt it. That makes me the strongest wolf in the world. I'm prime mate material. I mean not primate, like a monkey or a human, but prime mate. As in I'm an amazing potential mate. Not only did I hunt this bear, but I did it all for you. I'm as devoted as I am strong. So be my mate. We even could have one of those weddings you humans are so fond of. Okay, okay, I get it. Maybe killing a Kodiak bear isn't enough to impress you. You humans are on top of the food chain after all. 
Then how about this? What if I killed a grizzly bear for you? It's the strongest bear around. It can lift over 1,100 pounds. So, what do you say? Still no? Is it because grizzly bears are endangered? Or maybe it was threatened? I don't know. I really don't pay attention. But the point is that I'm willing to kill an endangered animal for you. That shows how devoted I am. But okay. You know what? No, that's fine. It's fine. I understand you completely. You are a very high class human. Obviously, it takes more than a single dead bear to win you over. So get this. 20 bears. Wait, no, 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 no. 30 bears. I will hunt 30 bears to show you that I'm an amazing potential mate for you and that you should just accept me. So, what do you say? I mean, think about all that meat. Imagine how many winters that'll last for us. And all that fur. It'll keep us warm forever. What do you mean it doesn't matter how many bears I hunt for you? Are bears not a big deal? Are they out of fashion or something? Am I supposed to be hunting flamingos or something nowadays? I just don't get it. Human mating rituals are so complex. What do I have to do to show you that I am the strongest and most devoted wolf boy that you will ever meet? Do I have to write you love poetry in the blood of your enemies? Do I have to carve out little hearts out of their skulls? Because I'll do it. I'll do anything for you. What's wrong with me? Is my fur not soft enough? I specifically got the shampoo that was supposed to make it soft. It said right there on the label. Do I not brush my fur enough? Is daily not enough for you? I can brush it more. Whatever you want. I'll brush my fur in the morning, noon, evening, and night. Whatever it takes. You know what? It's the license, isn't it? I knew it. You want to mate with a driver's license, don't you? It was right in front of me the entire time. How could I not see it? Just hold on. I'll go drive to the DMV and maybe growl at them a bit until they give me one. What? It's not any of that? Then what is it? I'm... Moving too fast? Isn't speed a useful thing for any predator? Dating? Let me see if I'm understanding this dating thing right. So, what, it's like some sort of introductory thing you do before becoming mates? So then, and correct me if I'm wrong, it's sort of like before we become real mates, it's sort of like we have to become test mates? So... Do test mates do things like cuddle and hold hands and share meals together? Because honestly, that sounds pretty great. Especially the cuddling part, because to be frank, you're pretty nice to cuddle, even though you don't have any fur. I mean, I'd imagine you're nice to cuddle. Not that, like, I broke in to cuddle you while you were sleeping or anything, in spite of any trails of fur you might have found from your window to your bed. But enough of that. So then if I am to become your test mate, and hopefully eventually become your real mate, I have to do this dating thing with you, right? How exactly would I go about that? Oh, so we have to learn more about each other. I see. That does make a lot of sense. Very well then. I'd ask you questions, but I already know so much about you. I mean, even from my nose alone, I can tell so much. I smell all the scents in all the places you go to on you. And I can tell based upon their strength how recently and how often you go to them. I could even tell what you ate. 
I know everything. From my nose. Not from stalking. Just my nose. Then in that case, I guess that means that's all that's left for you to learn is about me. Oh, what to tell you? What to tell you? Maybe I should tell you about what I did to all those squirrels for trespassing on your property. Or maybe I should tell you how long I howled at the moon. Not out of instinct or anything. It's more like I was yelling at it for trying to compete with your beauty. Because it can't. I don't know what to tell you about myself, honestly. Why don't you ask me something? Come on, go ahead, ask away. Ask me when my birthday is, or how long I dream about you at night or something. Anything. Go on. Oh? My friends? <sighs> well, I did say anything. But I'm afraid I can't tell you about them. Not because I keep my secrets from you. Because believe me, I don't. It's just that, well, my packmates all thought I was such a weirdo for being so obsessed with a human like you. It's really socially taboo for a wolf boy like me to show interest in you. I mean, the thing that largely distinguishes us from dog boys is that we're wild, right? So all my other packmates hated my guts for loving you. And that's why I don't have any friends. Because they left me. Because I love you. But let's not talk about that. That doesn't matter now. Because I have you. You're... Well, you're not my mate. Yet. But you're still my test mate, right? We're dating. And I'm sure our dating will go perfectly. And nothing will go wrong. And then we'll be mates. So come on. Ask me something else. Why do I love you? Oh boy. Pull up a chair and get comfortable. We're gonna be here a while. <laughs>